What's up, fellas? It's your boy, Doug Kel, man. All right, man. So we are on the way to the house. We're going to take the Bobtail, the Decepticon, over to the garage. And we are going to paint, do some painting on the roof, on the side of the roof. Because, uh, like you guys heard me say before, the window on this truck was driving me crazy. So I have removed the window. And this truck used to be a company truck. Um, it used to be an Arminelli truck. And, you know, they paint all the trucks like a navy blue color. But this truck originally was a yellow color. So when I removed the window, to my surprise, which was, was, wasn't a surprise at all, it was uh, yellowish up there. So uh, we're gonna take it over to the house um, so that I can hit it with the pressure washer because around where the screws are, it, you know, it's got some grime because you know, those windows, they just go place up there. They're not sealed and they just get, they just screw it in. So I got all the screws in the cup right here where I had, I had the guys remove that and I kept the screws off so I can clean around it. And then I'll put the screws on and then paint it. So we're gonna go hit it up with the pressure washer a little bit and then get that painted navy blue. I'm gonna paint it with the same color spray paint that I used from Rustoleum for the bumper and the grill. We're gonna go ahead and spray it up just to eliminate some of the yellow stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all the way in the top because the top of the dome actually have some paint on it because when they were when Arminelli was painting it, the wind dome is open on the back part, on the back part. So when they're spraying the back, they spray it in there so they hit some of the roof up. So thank God for that. So I basically just gotta hit the sides and you know around the around the rims where the dome was at. So we're gonna go get that cleaned up, let it dry, and we're gonna hit that up with some paint to make it look solid. And I'll let you guys see what it looks like. I'm about to put the danger suit on. You know what that means? We're about to get dangerous, man. So I'm also thinking about the floor. I am gonna be doing the floor on this truck with that black with the planks that I have bought for the classic, which I never got to put on the classic. I still have them. And the plan is to do the front half with that wood and the back half with carpet. But uh, for right now, um. I, you know that's something that I gotta do. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm actually I actually got a roll of carpet, a, a rug that I buy at Walmart, it's like 20 bucks, and uh, it's big enough to do the whole floor on a, on a semi truck. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna remove the chair while that's drying. I'll remove the chair real quick. That's real quick for bolts, release the airline, and remove the chair. And I'm gonna lay the carpet in here, cut it into shape. You know, cut the hole off for the shifter and everything, and cut it. You know, all and remove the fridge and the AC unit. And lay the carpet down in here and once i got the carpet in here I'll, I'll roll like that until i go pick up the material that i need which is a you know i basically need a, a piece of wood that's like a seven by seven square foot piece of some i'm, I'm gonna get some plywood uh or i might get the play or i might get the the pvc i'm not sure yet so i'm gonna go pick that so for you know for today we're just gonna do the, the rug and it, the, there's a purpose for that because when I'm ready to do the job on the trucks, sometimes when guys are gonna do their floors, what they do is that they'll remove the original floor, which covers all the airlines and any electrical lines underneath and stuff, and they'll use that as a template. So I don't wanna remove the rubber floor, I wanna leave the rubber floor as it is. So what I do is that I buy a $20 carpet at Walmart, it's black, I'm gonna lay it down there, it'll be cut out into shape. So when I'm ready to do my floor, I can remove that rug and lay it right on top of the plank of wood and use it as a stencil just trace out i got the you know have the holes for the chair already marked out and the hole for the shit that i literally just got put on top of the plank trace out and then just go ahead and cut and place it in my truck and then like i said i'm planning to leave me the back half in carpet and then the front half will be or have the vinyl planks in black so that's what it is so we're gonna get to the house and go do that so stay tuned the next clips you'll see i'm gonna show you guys the truck what it looks like before i clean it before i paint it and i'll let you guys see what it looks like after i paint it Slowly but surely, the upgrades are coming to the thing. I know a lot of guys were like, oh, that wind dome saves you fuel, this, that. I don't give a fuck, man. Listen, I mean, how much fuel is it really going to save me? I'm working local anyway. I mean, yeah, it might save you some fuel, but what about the, the extra weight you're putting on that chair? Those things are heavy as fuck. So at the end of the day, whatever, man. I, I really don't care. I, got, I like my, you know, I, I think it looks ugly. I think these Eagles, these trucks look real nice without that wind dome. Unless you got one of those Eagles that come with the rounded one, like the Pro Eagles which have like, you know, you can't remove the window from it. It's part of the truck. This truck is not like that. This truck doesn't come with that. This is something that you, they add on to this truck. These, truck, these trucks, they, they, to me, they look kind of like a miniature W, like a, like a miniature KW, you know what I'm saying? Like without the long nose. Because if you, these, the, the style of this truck is very similar to KW as far as the sleeper style. Now though it doesn't have the hood, but it's very similar, even the dash. So I really like these trucks. I'm really happy with this truck. And, we're gonna we removed it and we're gonna get it painted. So stay tuned, guys. 
and I get to the garage door on the danger suit and we're gonna record that. I'll catch you guys in the next clip. All right, fellas, so I said I was gonna put on the danger suit, but it is way too hot for that. So let me just let you guys see what it looks like. You can see up there, it looks yellow. <clears throat> From the back, it's not that bad. Because <clears throat> when the wind dome was up there, overspray went up until it got the roof. But uh, we hit it up. <laughs> yeah, see that right there. That's right, this truck's called the Decepticon. Ain't no auto boss here, boy. Decepticons. So you can see all the yellow up there. So we're just gonna hit that up with some navy blue paint. Show you guys the front. That's why I put the danger suit on because this is way too hot. So you can see up there, we got. We're just gonna hit up all the little yellow spots up there. Gonna hit up all those yellow spots. Sorry about that, guys. So you can see it's. All that yellow. We're gonna hit all that yellow up, but look how it looks without the window. I think it looks real nice. I personally think that these International Eagles look way better without that window. Kind of like a little KW with the short nose. But there it is. So you see what I was talking about with the wings. So them wings extended all the way up. So what we did was we removed the window and then we cut the wings at the level of the ceiling. So it'll give the truck that extra long effect. And that's what it is. There it is again, fellas. The Decepticon logo on my truck. This truck's name is the Decepticon. Yeah, I already know. I am going to be removing the stickers because I'm going to be hitting this door up with the same paint I'm using up there to cover the Arminelli sticker that was in the background. When I removed it, it left like a shadow on there. And that's not sticky stuff. It's just, I guess this is how the truck was. And the sun has faded it out, but uh, we're going to remove that sticker and re-put it on there after I paint those doors up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're just going to do some temporary paint right now. Truck 777, y'all already know. Here's another Decepticon sticker right here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, fellas, the name of this truck is the Decepticon. So, what's coming for this truck in the future is we are going to be getting a 20-inch bumper in chrome. And we're going to be leaving this right here. This is going to stay navy blue, but we are going to be getting a lovered grill that just because this is literally just four bolts and that comes right off. You don't got to remove nothing else. So it's basically just remove and replace. And it's a nice lovered grill that goes there. So it's going to be a chrome lovered grill where everything else navy blue. The 20 inch bumper. And there it is. It's the LED lights again. We are going to be leaving this part navy blue. I like the way it looks like that. And that's what it is. But that's what it is, fellas. Y'all see my international logo, what I did here. Take the chrome stuff, just painted this blue and left the chrome out there. So looks real nice. I don't even think I'm going to put a visor on this truck. For that. I think I'm going to leave that visor that it has right there. Maybe I'll add a visor. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely putting the 20 inch bumper and the chrome lover grill. And we're going to get the spikes for this as well. We are going to leave these rims. We're not going to paint these rims. We're going to leave these rims. We're going to get actually these. I'm actually going to be getting this polish to bring the chrome out. Get my tanks probably polished, or I might paint the tanks. I'm not sure yet. Still debating because, like I said before, I do have the I got some Peterbilt boxes, like steps. So we'll have to eliminate that battery box and shift these tanks back. And then we can put the Peterbilt steps right there and put the batteries inside the Peterbilt. So shout out to one of my subscribers that he commented and told me it's just because I was thinking we had to move the batteries up, but I forgot that the Peterbilt steps are actually battery boxes. So thank you for commenting that. So we're gonna be putting those batteries instead of peter box, uh, peter box steps if we do go that route now those those steps are black they're not chrome so i'll probably just end up painting them navy blue but i still haven't decided because i'm probably just gonna leave it just like that i'm not sure yet but we'll see we'll see but i really like the way it's looking and once i paint that up with that blue paint it's gonna look real good i gotta hit this up with some fiberglass from the inside and i actually got fiberglass in the garage yeah see i'm in my garage and i back it up kind of semi into the garage I did hit up the generator, you know, just give the truck a little wash real quick. No soap, just pressure washer. And uh, I got a mess over here in my man cave. I got a lot of projects. This is for my Sentry. This came out of Old Yeller. This is for Sentry panels. It has, this panel has all the gauges. I'm gonna be redoing this with that red vinyl roll right you see right there. And that's what it is, fellas. You guys didn't know. I'm a big F1 Formula One racing fan. Here's a Red Bull, the 2021 cars from Checo and 
Max Verstappen, they won the champion. Uh, Max Verstappen won the championship last year, so I got those cars right there. And I'm a big Vader fan as well. You see, I got this potato head back there, Vader, and I got all these little Vaders right here. Y'all already know how I do. Atlanta Braves, my two baseball teams are the Florida Marlins and the Braves, but I am a Braves fan. That's my first favorite team since I was a little kid. Big Braves fan. And football, y'all know I'm a Giants fan. Got my giant stuff right there as well. So yeah, fellas, that's what it is. Let me see if I can find the, I think I got the paint over here that I'm gonna be actually using to paint the top of the truck. And I'm also gonna hit up the grill again and the bumper, I'm just gonna hit it up. See some parts right here peeled off when I went to a truck wash. So I'm gonna probably hit the grill up again. I gotta do some body work here because this had a tripod mirrors. I put these mirrors on there. I'm thinking that I should have gone with the all chrome ones. Maybe in the future, I end up putting the all chrome ones once I get the leverage grill and the bumper. But for now, we're going to rock it like that. Let's see the paint. A little set. These little, uh, I'm going to have to get this visor. They sell this visor, just the visor. I'm going to have to get the visor because when I was hitting it today, I peeled off. That pressure wash was a little bit too rough. But I love those little lights right there. Thinking about ordering the lights. I'm not going to get the extra piece that goes down here. I'm just going to drill the holes right here. And I'm going to add the... Uh, you know, those, those six inch lights, cool with the, like the same ones that I got on the visor. I'm, I'm gonna add probably, see, five right here and five on the other side. But we'll see, hit these up today. Here's a paint that I'm using, fellas. Here's a paint that I'm using. This is my pressure wash, fellas, that I picked up. Craftsman, that thing gets the job done. This is a paint that I've been using on the truck. This stuff works well. It's navy blue. You see right there, fast drying, indoor and outdoor, rust -Oleum. So I'll be rocking, man. So we're going to get this painted up. This sun don't play. That's why I don't got the danger suit on. I know I said I was going to put that danger suit on, but I'm going to tell you, fellas, it's just this sun out here in Florida ain't no joke. That's already dry. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the screws. As you can see, let me zoom in. You can see right there, the screws are not in, and the screws are actually right here. I actually got the screws right in here so i'm actually gonna put those in there before i paint it so i'm gonna paint the screws as well so that's what it is fellas i picked up about six cans of this i think that's more than enough because as you can see it's really just the little side edges the top of the dome is actually painted so we're gonna get it rocking i'll let you guys see what it is once it's done all right fellas so it's already rained and everything we did get to finish so if you can see up there now you see this all nice and blue let's go from the side That blue actually matches very well with the truck. So you can see that it's now blue. It doesn't got that yellow no more. I went ahead and put the screws back on there. Let's see if I can zoom in. You can see the screws. I put them all back on there. Gave it a little paint. And right now what I'm organ what I'm doing is organizing my cubbies. It was a mess, so I'm getting things organized. Let's go look for, look at it from the front. Yep. No more yellow, nice and blue now. That's what it is. I think this truck looks much, much, much better without that window. That window just looked horrible on this truck. So there it is, fellas. Let me show you guys something else that I did. There's, I got the, I already got the oak boot cover. And there's the shifter. We went ahead and put Oki on there. Yes, sir. We got Oki up there. So, let that oak look going on. So that's pretty much it right there. Remove the wind dome. Make sure it's not zoomed in. We went ahead, removed the wind, the wind dome up there, that wind deflector, got that out of there. Put the screws back on there. We cut the wings at the level of the roof. To leave the wings on this truck usually i remove the wings but this truck it's a little short so it makes it look better with the wings so we left the wings on there and um i'm really happy the way it looks so this is the new project that i'm working on right now the decepticon that's the name of this truck the name of this truck is the decepticon i'm going to show you guys something that has to do with decepticon as well you guys already know that i got one in the front right here a little small one that's actually a reflective one looks real cool at night let me show you guys. Ah! Yeah, steering wheel. A 3D Decepticon sticker for the steering wheel. Y'all already know how we do. Show you guys the shift up and close. 
Look at Oki. Ooh, he looks mean. Yeah, I refurbished him. I've had him for years. So we went ahead and got rid of the little blue ball. Put Oki in. This is we now got the, the shifter cover to match the stereo and the dash. So I'm going to be redoing this section, this section, and this section. I ordered the vinyl. I have it inside. This section, I'm going to leave it on it because it looks perfectly fine. But I didn't clean these out real good. So if you look real close, it's got some imperfections. Especially this part. It's got a lot of like, little imperfections you can see right there. And I just can't let that roll. We are going to be getting the chrome vents. One, two, three, four. We're going to get the chrome vents. I'm going to see if I can find this in chrome. I think the one from um, Classics fit on this. It's just a screw right here. We're going to get this in chrome. And that's what it is, fellas. So the floor, I'm going to be painting this part black. I made a homemade, I took an electrical box and made a ashtray for this truck where the shifter used to be. I'm probably going to paint this black so it doesn't look like this. And this black piece right here is going to be wrapped in the same vinyl oak as well. So we're going to be painting all of this black, wrapping this up in vinyl. And we're going to be painting, we're probably going to be painting just the top part of the dash, including where the vents go and the side in black. And then we'll probably leave the glove box in that tan color. And we'll probably paint just this section of the door in black and put some tape in the, in the middle. It's just, we're going to do some work. And as far as the floor, I have a black carpet that I was going to put on the floor. But I decided to relax to not do that because I got to remove the chair when I go to do the floor. And when I go to do the floor, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to get some of that PVC. And I'm going to lay it down here. And like I said, we're going to have that black vinyl wood looking stuff you know plastic stuff on the floor looking real nice and that's what it is fellas that's my fridge that's my ac unit y'all already know how we roll so yeah it's gonna be coming i'm not gonna be painting this here black i'm gonna be leaving it tan so this truck is gonna have a lot of tan stuff like i said this part of the dash we are gonna paint it in black just and we, we're thinking about i might wrap that this glove box i might wrap that in vinyl as well most likely i will that way i'll have everything black and that'll be oak oak and oak and then i'll have all this in black down here and we'll go from there this black strip right here i've actually seen a guy that took some of that chrome tape and it looked real nice so we'll see what we do about that but the door is going to be tan and black is going to be two-tone so we're gonna we're gonna get some stuff done the floor is going to be black now i'm debating i'm debating for the chair I have a used legacy that I'm gonna put in here, a used black legacy, but I'm debating when I go to buy the brand new legacy chair for this truck, I might get it in tan. That way the floor is gonna be black, the dash gonna be black, and I can have a tan chair, you know, so you can match this. So I might just get it in black, I don't know, but uh, it's coming, fellas. This is the inside of the truck, that's the shifter. I got the 18 inch extension. You can see I got the boot cover now on there, and I'm happy with that. Hell yeah, so there it is, boy. The Decepticon. All right, fellas, so that's what I did so far. Let's jump out of the truck. So basically, that's it. That's what we've done so far. We did the shifter. We moved the window, painted it up, threw some Decepticon stickers on there because this truck is called the Decepticon, and that's what it is, fellas. So upgrades are coming for the truck. Again, like I said, this truck right here is going to have a 20-inch bumper right here and a nice love with chrome grill. We might leave that visor. I don't think I'm going to put a visor on this truck. And definitely, 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 not right now, but in time, we are going to be putting stacks on this truck right here. And this show, we're going we're gonna to go with some six-inch stacks on this truck. So that's what it is, fellas. We're going to cut the video, man. It's Sunday. I still haven't seen my Formula 1 race, so I still don't know who won. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Right now, I'm just organizing my stuff. This side right here is going to be for all my my oils and stuff like that, my leaf blower, and then the other side I have all my tools. And that's how we're doing it, man. We're just gonna finish up here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Decepticon, baby.